Hi, my name is Brittany. My name is Spencer. And tonight we're going to read you a story that was written by me. It is called Freddy Frog and the Bully. But we're going to go over a couple things on the actual book itself first. Like this. Cover. And this. Title. And who wrote the book? Mommy. Mommy. And I'm the author, right? And she's the author. And Hap is the illustrator. Hap is the illustrator. And his name is David Beckett. He is the one who drew the pictures. Hap. So I did dedicate this book to my niece's nephew and, of course, my baby Spencer. Um, I hope that they will always include people in their fun and play. Be kind, be friendly, and I hope that Spencer knows that I love him and that he'll be a kind person and bring kindness and brightness to the world. I'm sorry that it's backwards. I will try to figure that out later. So, here's the picture to start off with. These are the photos. Freddy Frog had lots of friends. They liked to hop on lily pads and play critter tag after school. His friends, Darla Dragonfly, Cory Cricket, and Brenda Butterfly eagerly waited for Freddy to arrive each day before hopping across the pond. They liked to get juice from Mr. Turtle's shop before playing. One day, Freddy didn't go to Lilypad Pond, and he wasn't at Mr. Turtle's shop. His friends were worried, but decided to play anyway. The next day, Freddy didn't show up to the pond or the shop. His friends became even more worried. Darla said, I wonder where Freddy is. Corey said, this isn't like him. Maybe we should go check on him. And here's the next page with the images. Why are they doing this? It says, they all agree and went to Freddy's house. Mrs. Frog answered the door. Hello, children. How are you today? We are well, Mrs. Frog, said Darla. But Freddy hasn't been to the pond to play in two whole days. Is he okay? Well, I think so. He said he had lots of schoolwork to do and couldn't play. Come to think of it, he has seemed a little sad the last couple of days. Perhaps you guys could speak with him? Certainly, Mrs. Frog, said Brenda. We are worried about him. The three friends went to Freddy's room to check on him. Corey called out, Freddy, can we come in? Please go away, squeaked Freddy in a small voice. I'm very busy. Darla said, let us in, Freddy. You are our friend, and we want to see you. You haven't been to the pond in two days. I said go away. I'm busy. Okay, we will go, Freddy. But will you be at the pond tomorrow, asked Brenda. We miss you. Yeah, sure. Now please go. Darla, Brenda, and Corey left Freddy's. I don't think he's okay, said Brenda. Maybe we should keep an eye on him tomorrow. That's a great idea, exclaimed Corey. This way we can make sure he is okay. The next day, Darla, Corey, and Brenda paid close attention to their friend. They noticed that Freddy stayed in class until after the last bell rang. He peeked out into the hallway before nervously hopping to his cubby. It was like he was hiding from someone. Then he appeared, big, mean Samuel Spider. He was the school bully, and he pushed Freddy with one of his long legs. Stay out of my way, Pipsqueak. Samuel said. I'm sorry, Samuel. I thought you were already gone for the day, Freddy said, rubbing his arm. That really hurt. Well, I'm still here. Say, you weren't trying to hide from me, were you? Why would you go and do a thing like that? Samuel picked Freddy up by his leg and dangled him from the ceiling. Please let me go, Freddy whimpered. I don't like when you pick on me. Samuel mocked him. Boo-hoo, I'm Freddy. I'm a big baby. Do you see who the, the bully is? Point to the bully. Samuel Spider. The spider is the bully. Why is the spider bully? I don't know. We're going to find out, though. Uh, Darla, Brenda, and Corey watched as Samuel continued to pick on Freddy. They couldn't believe Samuel was being so mean. Finally... Brenda had enough. She clenched her fist, stood up tall, and yelled, Let him go, Samuel! Still holding Freddy, Samuel spun around to see little Brenda Butterfly fluttering nervously. What did you say? Let him go, Brenda repeated. 
Corey and Darla grabbed Brenda's hands in agreement and support. We don't like you picking on our friend. And if I don't let him go, asked Samuel. Brenda said, we will tell Mrs. Frog and Mrs. Turtle what you're doing. It is not nice to bully people, Samuel. How would you feel if someone picked on you? Samuel lowered Freddy a little. I guess I wouldn't feel so good at all, but I don't have friends like you to help me. Samuel Darla, Samuel, Darla said, people would want to be your friend if you were nicer to them. Samuel started crying. No, they wouldn't. I'm big and mean and no one likes me. No one invites me to go play at Lilypad Pond or have juice at Mr. Turtles. And I think it would be fun. Freddie looked at Samuel and said, if you put me down, Samuel, you can come to the pond and Mr. Turtles with us. Surprised, Brenda said, even after he bullied you, you want to be his friend? But why, Freddy? Brenda, maybe he just needs a friend to show him that bullying is wrong. Besides, maybe we bullied him a little too. We should have invited him to tag along before, before but we didn't. Maybe he wouldn't Hi. be so sad and angry if we had, Freddy said. Corey asked Samuel, so what do you say? Do you want to come to the pond and play? What do you think Samuel's going to say? Let's find out. Would I ever, Samuel shouted as he put Freddy down. I I'm sorry, Freddy, for being mean. Can we high-five and work it out? High-five. Absolutely, Freddy said as they high-fived. Now, let's go to the pond. Brenda, Freddy, Corey, Darla, and Samuel played at the pond. Samuel made some new friends and promised not to be bullied again. Finally, he felt included. The end.